Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Kayla and here we love to talk about all things luxury and high-end makeup and beauty. So today we're gonna be talking about all of my recent makeup and skincare empties, the products that I've used up and I will be giving you my thoughts on all of these products. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, then just keep watching. So before I get into my empties, I just wanted to talk very briefly about where I have been. I've had a few of you kind, kind souls reach out to me and ask me like, hey, did you quit YouTube? Are you still going to be doing things over on YouTube? So for those of you who did reach out, I really, really appreciate you. But as far as where I've been, I am currently going through a divorce. Um, it's not easy <laughs> by any means. So I apologize for, um, my sporadic presence on here as well as over on Instagram. Um, I'm not quitting this and I know by no means do I, am I like a big YouTuber <laughs> or on Instagram, but like I said, I did have a few of you reach out. Um, I had mentioned a little while back that I was going through some stuff. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on right now. So, um, yeah, if my videos are a little sporadic and my presence, <laughs> um, on Instagram and YouTube is a little sporadic um that's what's going on so i just wanted to make all of you aware um yeah that's that's what's going on if you've ever been through it um you know it's not easy um it's a lot of emotional stress a lot of time so that's that's where I've been. And I know I'm saying um a lot, but it's not really easy for me to talk about. So that's where I've been. I hope to eventually get back on like a schedule and my two videos a week at least and over on Instagram, but please just bear with me <laughs> um, for being a little sporadic. So enough of that. <laughs> Let's get into the products that I have used up. So first, this is kind of weird. It's actually a body wash. It is the Sanitarium, the multivitamin daily nutrients body wash. I think I got this from like Target and I had been seeing the brand over on like Instagram and stuff. And I said, okay, well, let me just go ahead and pick it up. I mean, it was okay. I, I don't know. It says it's formulated with mild plant-based surf surfactants. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. To remove dirt, oil, and other impurities while supporting the skin's natural moisturizing factor balance. I mean, it was okay. I didn't repurchase it. It was just okay. I do prefer like a body wash with at least a little bit of scent and this had like none. I mean, it didn't like make me itchy or anything like that. It just wasn't anything that I was like, oh my God, I have to repurchase this again. Um, I typically just use like the Dove for sensitive skin. So I just repurchased that again and that's what I've been using. But I mean, it was okay. It was all right. I feel like though I did go through this like really, really quick, which is kind of strange considering it's 16.9 ounces. I don't typically go through body washes that quick. But I mean, it was all right. Would I repurchase it? I mean, maybe, but honestly, probably not. <laughs> so next, I actually used up a few makeup products, which is like crazy for me. The first one being, and if you're not new to my channel, you know that like I adore this product. It's the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Concealer. I use it in the shade Zero N Zero Blanc, but I know it looks like there's still product in there, but I mean, there's not, I promise. I have done everything in my power to scoop it out <laughs> everything. 
but it, it was used up. I adore this concealer. It's what I'm wearing on my, or under my eyes today. I obviously repurchased it because I am obsessed with this concealer. It's expensive, but this, you know, I think what I'm gonna start doing is writing somewhere on the product when I started using it specifically with skincare. But I mean, this lasted me for a good while. I think I got it around like December of last year, I feel like, November, December-ish. And I mean, it, it lasted me at least six months. So, and I use this pretty much every day. Like, I, I use other concealers, but on an everyday basis, this is what I reach for. So I mean, that's good and it maintained the same like consistency. It didn't like dry out or anything like that. And it performed just as well as when I first opened it. So yes, I repurchased this and yes, I will continue to repurchase this. So I also used up one of these Salt New York Sculpt and Bronze Cream Tint Pros. I used it up in the shade, which is double checking, light. So I like mixing this and the taupe shade, which that's what I actually have on today. So obviously I repurchased this. <laughs> but as far as like a natural cream bronzer, I absolutely love Salt New York products. I've gone on and on about them. I absolutely love them. I love their blushes. I love their bronzery. I love their highlighter. I love their, I love their sneaky balm. I've gone on and on about that. I did a full review of it. And I just think that their products are so natural and creamy and beautiful. So I will continue to repurchase these whenever I run out. So this is actually something that I don't think I've ever talked about on my channel, but I did use it up. And it is the Auric Plush Ritual Ceramide Lip Treatment. So I'm sure that y'all are all familiar, but it has the same packaging as like their eyeshadow. It has this little top part and it had this little like jade spatula, which I am keeping that and I still use that. And then in the bottom here, you had the lip treatment. Now, I liked this, obviously. I used it up, but I, I just don't think that I'm gonna repurchase it purely because I went through it really, really fast and I only used it at night on my lips. And as far as like a nighttime lip treatment, I really prefer the Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks. Those last me forever, okay? And when I use those, I mean, I just slather it on. <laughs> basically on this entire part of my face. No, I'm kidding, but I do put a lot on at night and I just feel like for the value and for how my lips feel when I wake up, I will repurchase that. This was nice. I enjoyed using it, but and I do, I love the little spatula. I still use that to put it on, to put on my Laneige every night, but I mean, it was okay. It was all right, but for the price, for the amount that you get, and for the efficacy of the products, I just don't think I would repurchase it when I could get the Laneige, so. But it was nice. It was nice while it lasted. And so I also used up a tube of this new lash, the Lash Growth Serum. This is pretty much what I've always used, like way back in the day. I, oh, I'm even ashamed to say it, but I use that Rodin and Fields, which, Oh, just do your research. Don't use that on your eyes. Um, but I switched to this, and this is probably like, mm, maybe like my third or fourth tube of this. I tried at one point to use the Revita Lash, but it really, I have very sensitive skin, and it just, my eyes swole up. It was a nightmare, so I was like, you know what, we're just gonna stick with the new lash. And I mean, it does it does well. I feel like it definitely helps in my eyelash growth. I definitely notice a difference if I stop using it, so it must be doing something. <laughs> I did repurchase this at the Nordstrom sale. They do like a pack of like two of them for a discount. Um, I think, no, I don't think. They have since updated the packaging, but I usually use these for about six months. That's about how long a tube lasts me. And 
like I said, it must do something because when I don't have it, I notice a difference in my lashes. So this is a nice serum and I will continue to use it because after the Revital Lash experience, I'm terrified to try anything else. All right, so now for skincare. So I used up one of these Beauty Pie Japan Fusion Pure Transforming Cleansers. Y'all, I love this stuff as a first cleanse. I have since repurchased it. I actually bought two bottles so that I wouldn't be without it. I use this to remove my makeup. Before this, I used the Shantikai Rose Demai Cleansing Balm, and I, I mean, I adore that product. Nothing will top that one, but this one is way cheaper and lasts me way longer, and it doesn't break me out. So there's no scent. It is kind of like a gel cream formula. It's not a, like a cream like the Chantikai, but it's also not like a gel. It's kind of an in-between formula. And it's also not like a typical like cleansing balm formula. So like when you think of like the Elemis or the Pharmacy, those types of products, it's very emollient. And you know, obviously it's in a squeezy tube, but I really love this product. It removes my makeup. It doesn't leave my skin feeling tight or dry and it doesn't break me out. So I will continue to repurchase this. So also from Beauty Pie, I used up this Uber Youth Neck and Chest Super Lift Serum Spray. I use this, now I don't know what's going on with my neck right now. It has nothing to do with this because I used up a bottle, obviously, <laughs> of this and have continued using it. I repurchased it. I don't know if I got sunburned and just didn't know it. I don't know y'all, but something weird's going on with my, my neck area. It's not this. So don't think that if you can see this going on on my neck that it's from this. This stuff, I mean, I don't really know if it makes a difference, but it's supposed to, you know, help with like tech neck and necklines and things like that. It says it's got niacinamide ideal lift. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of these things, but apparently it's got good stuff. So after I shower, I've just been spraying it on my chest and like working it up my neck and massaging it in. And I mean, I don't feel like I really have more prominent necklines, so I, I don't know. I mean, I have some, obviously I'm 32, but I don't know. I mean, I continued repurchasing it, so I, I don't know if it made a difference. I should have taken a picture before, but I did have like some sun damage. Oh, I also put it on my shoulders because I have a lot of sun damage on my shoulders. And I do, honestly, I do feel like my shoulders are a bit smoother, but then again, I haven't really been getting them in the sun a lot since I've used this. So it could just be a combination or it could be this, but regardless, I repurchased it. So I like it, it's nice. And it's a really good value and it lasts for like six months. So it's great, I like it. So I also, I think this has been in like every MD's video that I've done so far, but I used up another one of the Shantikai Rice and Geranium Foaming Cleansers. So crazy enough, I did not repurchase this. Whoa, that is crazy for me to say, but I actually have started on a new-ish skincare routine. So I've actually started using the Biologique Recherche Late U Cleanser. I still use this to remove my makeup, but that is my second cleanse. It's more of a creamy cleanser that hydrates my skin a little bit more. So I'm seeing how that works so far. I mean, I really love it and I do feel like it makes my skin feel less tight and like that squeaky clean whenever I finish. Um, I still love this cleanser, don't get me wrong, but I have just switched to the Biologique Recherche for now. But yeah, I mean, if I ever decide that I don't like that one for some reason, I would go back to using this one. But I think my skin was just really dehydrated and this was causing it to be a little bit more dry because I do have like combo, sometimes dry skin. So, but this is a great, great cleanser and I really do love it. I also used up two of the Jasmine and Lily healing masks from Shantikai. This is like a teeny tiny little sample and this is like a deluxe sample. I will forever 
have this stuff in my arsenal. I just think that it's so, so good for my skin. I love it. I actually use it every other night over like my serums and stuff and I just wear it all night and sleep in it and it just is so hydrating. It helps calm my skin and reduce the redness overnight. And I, like I said, I will, I will never not have this. This is just two samples that I used up and I've opened up like a full size jar now, but I'll always have it. If you haven't tried this, just, just try it. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. And I love it. Obviously, I love it. Also from Shantakai, I used up this gold recovery mask. Y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do without this in my collection. I was actually um, gifted it, not by Shantakai, but so I didn't have to purchase this, but I love this, okay? So I do like Dermaplane once a week. Um, and this was always the mask that I wore after I did that. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but like, I can't repurchase this because it's it basically, I would have to like sell an arm or a leg. It's really, really expensive. I don't know what I'm gonna do without it. So if you've used this or have something that's similar to this, that you know of that's not like crazy expensive please let me know because i i love this stuff and i really don't know what i'm gonna do without it but it did it lasted me for a long time like i said i only use it like once a week but it i mean i think i've had this for like almost a year so it's great stuff so please send your recommendations my way <laughs> So last but certainly not least, I used up another of my Super Goop Mineral Sheer Screen. This is the only SPF that I use on my face. It's the only SPF that I've ever found that works well under my makeup and doesn't make me break out. Every, literally every other SPF that I've ever tried on my face makes me break out. I know whatever it is that I use has to be mineral, but like, kind of like with the cleanser. I'm just scared to try anything else because this doesn't break me out. And like, obviously we have to wear SPF every day. If you don't, you need to, <laughs> but I mean, I love it. I've already started on another bottle and unless I one day am like, mm, let's venture out and try something else. I mean, that would really take a lot, but I'll continue to use this. It's just fantastic. So that is all of my empties and a little update on where I've been. So let me know in the comment section down below if you love any of these products or have used up any of these products. And again, thank you so much to those of you who reached out. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate all of you for your support and for sticking around and not unsubscribing. It really does mean a lot to me. If you're not subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you as part of our little fam here on YouTube. And if you're not following me over on Instagram, it's at Beauty by Kayla K. I'd love to see you over there too. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video.